Hey guys, really glad you come to a brand new video. And I'm not gonna talk about why I was gone. The only thing I'm gonna say is I'm, I'm here and I'm gonna make videos any other day. But today's video is really, really interesting. Today I'm gonna talk about Elden Ring. And you don't, if you don't know, Elden Ring has been delayed for the past couple of, of weeks. Uh, Elden Ring was supposed to come this month of January, I think it was the 31st, and it was delayed to March and I think it's a week apart from Horizon Zero Dawn, so yeah, it's gonna be a tough week, yeah. So by the way, before I start this video, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give it a like, subscribe, whatever you want. And let's talk to these, about this video I'm gonna make today. If you don't know, I'm gonna leave a link down below for the article, it's coming from Dual Shockers, and I really really advised to really uh read it so let's start with this uh demon souls remake force from so uh force from software to improve visuals quality of elder ring as per Miyazaki. exceptional work for Elden ring's graphical team should not be forgotten uh hidetaka Miyazaki says his graphics team felt extra pressure in the Elden ring project after the launch of demon souls remake on ps5 Miyazaki and his team at from software has always been known for their hardcore and um forgiving action games. But when it comes to the graphics visual, the studio has been never been among the top tier developers of the globe. And that in my opinion it's kind of stupid uh how the guy really really uh write that because if, if you're not mistaken Dark Souls has been one of the best graphical fidelity games I ever played. Not the first one, not the second one, but the third one, Bloodborne and Sekiro. You're telling me those games were not graphical, really good fucking performance wise? Like, don't get me wrong, the monsters were fucking phenomenal. We're fucking reading news again. In the recent interview with Edge Magazine, Hidetaka Miyazaki revealed that the graphics has never been a priority for him and his team in developing games. But with the Elden Dream project, they were actually forced to care about visuals. And I don't blame them. Elden Ring is the most really grotesque game they're building. Like, it, it, this is their baby. You know, okay, they did Demon Souls. They did the whole Dark Souls, uh, the whole Dark Souls trilogy. They made Bloodborne and Sekiro. Those games were treated with care and love, but but they were really caring about the performance and how the game was developed. Not really graphical wise, but like I said, the game were perfectly like. Like, graphical, they were inc not incredible, but they were really awesome. Like, the monsters, the blood, and how the monsters were, were really moving. And I didn't find any glitches on any of the fucking games. And I get it, many people, oh yeah, I found this glitch, but not me. That was not me. Demon Souls Remake put extra pressure on From Software for improving Elden Ring visuals, and this is this is where I'm coming in. Okay, Elden Ring has been never the biggest pro it has been the biggest project from From Software so far, and obviously one of the most anticipated games of 2022, and I think is the most anticipated game of 2022. Yeah, uh, Pokemon Horizon, you gotta know, Elden Ring is the most most anticipated game of 2022. Visually, Elden Ring looks pretty impressive in gameplay and trailers, and much more better than than from software's previous titles in case of visual, but there's a specific reason behind this great looking world. That's true. So, if you didn't know, uh, Demon's Souls came out in 2020 to the PlayStation 5, a uh, remake by none other than Blue Point Studios. Uh, studios uh, studios um, care about making remakes of other games, like for example, Shadow of the Colossus, uh, the, if I'm not mistaken, they did the Uncharted uh, trilogy for the PlayStation 4, 60 frames per second of those games. Really, I'm really excited for those studios. The studio was recently by by Sony. So, yeah, we continue rating. In his history with Edge Magazine, explain how Demon Souls Remake forced them to put more effort into the graphics improvements of Elden Ring. When asked if the graphical fidelity of Demon Souls Remake affected from software and upcoming projects, Michizaki answered, Yes, I'm pretty sure our graphics creation staff felt that pressure more than anyone else. It's not just with Elden Ring, but with all the games we have made. Graphical fidelity is not something we put as a, a top priority. What we ask for the uh, on the graphics side depends on the systems and requirements of the game itself. It takes le it takes less priority compared to the other elements of development. So there's always an area where I feel a little bit a bit apologetic towards my graphics team because I know they're weird the work extremely hard. 
and they work extremely hard on Elden Ring. Our graphics system team and our programmers have been pushing a lot of new features to create the best looking game we ever make. Hidetaki Miyazaki is the whole. So this is where I come in. This is where I put my personal opinion on all of this, okay? All the games from From Software have really, really been quite performance-wise good. The original, the original Demon Souls, Dark Souls One, and Dark Souls Two was okay. But Dark Souls Three put the effort on everything, even Bloodborne with the power of the PlayStation Four. Second, otherwise looks pretty good. Not wow, but really good in my opinion. But with Demon Souls came and put another 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 type of 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 fidelity on the game on another top of performance with the PlayStation 5 is great it, it put the development team from software to another whole another game Demon Souls looks fucking fantastic on the PlayStation 5 you haven't played that game I assure you to play that game like in my opinion is the best looking PlayStation games and like now, like you got Ratchet and Clank, you got Miles Morales, you got Gran Turismo, but Gran Turismo, all the Cars games look very well and run very well. Returnal, all, like, in my part, the first stop right now is Demon Souls and the next is Ratchet and Clank. If you play Ratchet and Clank, you will fucking be very surprised how the PlayStation 5 really gets that right. But Elden Ring got a really tune up, and that's why I think that, that is why it was delayed. They felt the pressure of Demon Souls. And when they saw the game play that game, they said, well, they, they kick our ass on them performance wise and fidelity wise. So we're not getting, we're not getting around. So we're going to have to delay this game. And, and believe me, when you have a caliber of from software developer, you will say yes. Okay. Delay a couple of months for the release date. It's not that, it's not that bad. Okay. It's not a year like Halo. It's not two years, three years. No, this is, this is only three to two months. Okay, two months exactly wise, and all it took to delay the game was a game called Demon Souls, a game they made 10, 12, 12 years ago. They took a remake to make the performance and graphics better or tune it up of a game. Only took a game, and this it's really, really, really phenomenal. I'm glad the Elden Ring got delayed just because of this, and it's not like, oh, the game is going to be bad. No, like a lot of people have played the game, and they're really pumped about it. It is the best 2022 most expected game. It's the most anticipated game, and right now, I'm very surprised why it was delayed. So, guys, that is it for the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the next Raiding Guy show. Peace out.